Hello students, today let us learn to draw isometric projection in SOLIDWORKS 2D. So click on new, select drawing, click OK. Select A4, switch off display sheet format, uncheck that box. Swap the dimensions, 297-210 mm, click OK. Observe the units, it should be MMGS, scale should be 1 is to 1, right click on sheet 1, go to properties, select first angle projection, apply changes. Now I have copied the question, let me paste the question here. So pentagonal pyramid of base 30, axis 60 is resting on HP on its base with the side of base perpendicular to AP, draw its isometric projection. So before you draw isometric, we should start with orthographic, so go to sketch line polygon select the number of sides 5 so draw a normal polygon select any of the side make it vertical it this vertical can be towards your left side or right side right now i have taken towards right side 30 mm is the base side draw the slant edges start from the center of the circle to the corners so these lines represents the slant edge of the pentagonal pyramid go to line draw line axis height is 60 the argument axis height is 60 select this line go to line format toolbar change it to chain how to add this line format toolbar right click on this tab here you will find line format toolbar using this you can add this toolbar now let me draw its front view first drop projectors from the corners after dropping projectors connect the projectors to the apex this is the apex connect it draw the base so select the lines which are edges make it to 0 0.5 similarly select everything here make it to 0 0.5 now you go to annotation note type x y vp hp a b c d e so where is x x is here so you can always extend the line by using extend option to not extend any line we should have a boundary till what extent you want to extend the line so draw the boundary then if you just place a cursor on that line it will extend then delete the boundary after extending you can place vp here hp here a y b C, E, D, sorry, annotations, note, note, type it O of O1, O of O1, then name this now, this is O dash, this is O1 dash, this is A dash, this is b dash in bracket e dash this is c dash in bracket d dash okay this is the orthographic projection of the solid okay now let me show you how to draw isometric view before that i should enclose this pentagon in a box use alignment indicator connect all the corner so that the pentagon is enclosed in a box after enclosing it in a box now go to line draw a reference line draw 30 degree line why 30 degree because the three faces will be mutually perpendicular to each other making an angle of 120 with each other so with respect to the reference line so the these angles will become 30 degree 30 degree so you can go to smart dimension dimension this that is 
1.17 this side is 48.54 okay select smart dimension click on smart dimension 46.17 similarly this dimension is 48.54 after this now go to copy entities select the line which you want to copy click on start point from here paste it towards this press escape go to copy entities again select this line start point you click select this as start point and end point after this go to line draw horizontal line vertical line in order to constrain this box now let me dimension this go to smart dimension i'll mark the depth here which is 9.27 similarly this will be 9.27 so I'll let me mark the depth first so go to line i'll draw a line approximately of 9 mm i go to smart dimension and i'll dimension this as 9.27 so whenever you do this, the problem is you can see the change in the line. So at that time, you can select this point, hold control key, select this and say merge. When you do that, the line will merge. There will be no gap. Clear? Next comes the other dimension, 9.27, right? So I'll draw a line here again. Select this and draw a line. So from here till here, the dimension 9.27 9.27 you should always keep an eye because it is not completely constrained so you might end up with a line there might be a gap so use merge option to make it correct so what about this dimension let me measure the dimension from here till here 17.63 go to smart dimension before dimension go to line draw the line 17.63 approximately let it be 17 go to smart dimension 17.63 so when you press enter just keep an eye on the profile there should be no change in the shape of this box very important many times due to constraint the length might increase the length might decrease so you should keep an eye on the profile so after this, I can copy the same line to the other end, copy entities, use box to copy. So use box to copy that line. So you can see here, I copied only this, I selected only this. Go to copy entities, from here to here. Okay. Now let me complete the <coughs> pentagon now. From where to where, you can start from here to here here to here here to this midpoint okay this is how i can complete the pentagon now you can make this line thick so that you can easily identify which is pentagon later i will make this thin based on visibility so how do i select this now select other there are two lines select this go to line properties make it to 0.5 so when you have multiple objects, you can just right click, go to select other. It will show how many lines are there. So right now it is one line. If I right click here, if I say select other, it will, you, can, you can see here there are multiple lines. So you can select whichever line you want to change the line thickness. This is the pentagon isometric projection. Now let me delete this construction line, not required now. How do I identify the center? So go to line from this corner to this midpoint okay from this corner to this midpoint so this is the intersection point this intersection point will be the axis so go to intersection draw axis side draw axis side of 60 mm so this is 60 six, zero, 60 now this is the apex of the pentagonal pyramid go to line connect from the apex to all base corners as you can see here i'm connecting to five base corners 
now you will get to know which is visible which is hidden so this entire thing will be hidden this portion will be visible first let us mark the outline as visible okay i select this lines and i'll make it point on it because i will not be able to see this right click select other select this line make it to point on it i don't want to make this as thick so the this and this will be point 18 sorry point 5 because it is visible so this is the pentagon now since we have drawn to true scale we need to reduce the scale by a factor of point 816 before we reduce the scale into 0.816 so delete all the dimensions very important why because once you give the dimensions you cannot scale it down once you can <coughs> once you are given a dimension the dimensions will be fixed so when you give the scale at that time the object will not shrink so retain only 30 degree remaining things you can delete now let us go to scale now you can see your scale entities click on scale entities select the entire object except the reference line the reference line need not be scaled down it will ask scale about click here scale about mention this as the scale about do you want to have a copy of this no i want the original to be shrinked so i'll switch off this copy option now you can see the scaling factor right now it is showing 1 i will enter it as 0.816 0.816 after entering if you just click on the sheet we can see the preview the original shape and the shape after scaling it down by a factor of 0.816 now if you are happy with this then click okay so it has been scaled down you can always cross check how go to smart dimension you can see here initially it was 60 now it is 48.96 this completes the problem